Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Astralo News. On this episode, I am going to be taking you from the 18th of June to the 24th of June, and I will be giving you everything you need to know about how to stay balanced, how to stay connected, and how to really harness what's going to be going on in our celestial energy. The first thing that we're going to cover is going to be an event that will be happening on the 21st. So many of you are already aware that we've got the summer solstice coming up. The summer solstice, it's amazing. We've been waiting for summer for a long time for a few different reasons. The sun, the excitement, being out of whatever obligations, if you're someone who's in school that you have to do on a regular basis, it's just known as a beautiful time of getting out of your shell and really expanding. It's no different energetically. So on the 21st, when this summer solstice kicks off, you are going to be at a precipice where you're able to harness the energy of everything you've been building towards for the past several months, all coming together and starting to take form. So at this point, I know many people in the Astral Life community have reached out and have been like, I've been working so hard to achieve this manifestation or to get here as my goals are or to be able to really focus on this and I just have not been able to. Well, there's a reason for that. The energy has to build in the background before it gets served to you. You're right on the precipice of that happening. So with the summer solstice energy, what comes with it is everything you've been pulling together, everything you've been working on starts to present itself in form. So the last thing you wanna do is start to doubt yourself, start to get down on yourself, start to give up on your things that you've been sending out and manifesting. This is the time to go all in with your faith and allow it to just take place. Hang in there with me guys, because it's going to be awesome. Make sure on the summer solstice night that you take a quick moment to write down whatever it is that is most important in your mind and in your manifestations that you want to see take form over the next coming months, and then take another second to burn it or send it out into the etheric energy in some way. One of the best ways to do that is having a bonfire. So take a second to really hone your energy, tell the universe what you're looking for and send it out. It's going to be amazing. The next event's taking place is going to be on the 24th, and it's a huge event. I had to write it down because there were so many different planets coming together. So between Mercury, Venus, the Moon, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, we're talking a straight line all at once. So that means that we're going to have some supercharged energy coming our way, and it's going to be hitting up each one of our energy fields, from our love center, to our grounding center, to our expansion center, all the areas of our body are really going to be in alignment at at once with a major, major area, which is the moon. So that might mean that you're a little more moody than usual because whenever the moon's influence come in, it tends to bring up a lot of emotions. The best thing you can do when this happens is don't get caught up in it. Don't let your mind run away with you. Don't start picking on everything that is going on in your life and blaming everyone around you. Take a deep breath and know that it's just the energy passing through. A great thing to do when you start to feel like that mind is going crazy is the four, seven, eight breathing. So many of you know, I love the four, seven, eight breathing. It is a breath that does amazing things to your energy field. What you do is breathe into the count of four, hold to the count of seven, breathe out to the count of eight. This is an excellent thing to do with your children, with other family members, with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your partner, whoever you'd like to really start to center and hone this energy as we have this alignment coming in. And it's also going to help with some of the things that you need to let go of this past year. So many of you have reached out to me and asked me about ways that you can help your children. Or if you are in school right now, some of you have reached out and said, how do I decompress after this wild year that went on, after all these emotional things that took place? So many are still stuck in fight or flight response. One of the best ways to do that is the four, seven, eight breathing. Keep an eye out in the morning before you start your day, do five cycles of the four, seven, eight breathing, and that will set the tone in your adrenal field to release some of the energy that might be coming up and it will keep you focused throughout the day. So super important steps. 
Thank you guys so much for watching the Astralo News for this week. Stay tuned for next week. It's going to be really, really incredible to harness the energy coming in. I'm excited to talk to you guys about it. Please take a moment to hit subscribe and share so that you can help expand our community and enlighten others about the soul and spirit inside. I'll see you guys next week.